We're going to do a quick round robin on predictions for the election, but I also want you to throw in where you think the marijuana amendment's going to end because that's all always one that, that will typically be above the fold when we look at where it's covered. So uh, why don't we go right to left. John, we'll start with you. Uh, predictions. My right. Oh. <laughs> My prediction, uh, I'll go with uh, what would seem to be the favorite. Marco Rubio wins re-election to the U.S. Senate, and marijuana is approved for Florida. Okay. Marianne. Yeah, you know. By the way, predictions can be at either presidential or Senate. Yeah, I, I will say the same thing. I think the easy, I think the hard one is going to be where, where things ha head on the uh, Republican, or in the presidential race. Um, I'm kind of leaning toward Trump taking Florida. Um, and I also think Marco Rubio is going to win, and I think both ballot amendments, the, the solar and the uh, marijuana, are going to pass. Okay. All right. I agree with Mary Ellen on the presidential and Senate race. I mean, at this point, and we're a ways out, it looks like Trump has some momentum in Florida. Uh, now, whether that will change, I'm not sure. But uh, I do think the medical marijuana uh, amendment will pass, and I tend to think the solar one will pass, too, although the environmentalists are going to probably raise a fuss in the next, uh, next month or so. Steve? I think that uh, at the moment, sitting here at this moment with the way the polling is going, I too think that the election in Florida is going very, very slightly in Donald Trump's direction. And I'm less, uh, I'm less convinced that medical marijuana is going to pass, even though it's going to be a big turnout. Uh, there's going to be a big avalanche of anti-medical uh, uh, marijuana advertising. The, the, the opposition's well-funded. They're going to be running a lot of ads down the stretch saying this is bad, this is going to promote drug abuse and so forth. So I'm going to say no on medical marijuana and yes to Trump.